What did we find in the charity shops when we went thrifting? Well, stay tuned for a massive haul and let's get sharing. The first thing we picked up is this address book for just 50 pence and it comes with a handy pocket to hold a travel card, stamps and things like that. And we thought this would be a great upcycling project and we needed an address book to hold all our crafty addresses for friend meal and happy meal. So this will come in handy for that. Next up, we picked up this bag of bells and they come with some lovely crinkle ribbon as well. And these again were just 50 pence. And I'll insert some footage of the charity shop as well so you can see the kind of things they had in store. Next up, we picked up this beautiful stamp set with the kind of vintage steampunk feel. And we have some cogs and other items in our stash and we thought these would coordinate perfectly with them. And this stamp set was £2.50. Next, we picked up some more ribbon as we have a slight ribbon addiction here at Crafty Seas. But for £1, there's absolutely loads of that lovely autumnal gold shade. Perfect for this time of year. Next up, we picked up these peel-offs in baby girl sentiments. Next up, we picked up these embellishment stickers in the drum kit. And on a recent purchase to the range, we picked up some guitar-themed ones. So that will be perfect to build up our stash. They also had a pile of dies in the charity shop. Uh, but at £4, we thought they were slightly expensive because we like to support our fellow crafters when they do de-stashes and sometimes you can get a better bargain on your dies. But this one was okay because it came with the two dies and their nesting dies. So we thought they'd be handy for making card toppers. And it was good that they came in a storage pouch as well. Then we picked up this pack of two pens for 150 and we liked the colours of the pens, a nice orange and mint green and we thought this would be a good upcycle project as well. And you never know what you're going to find in the thrift stores and charity shops so it's always a fun adventure. And we also picked up, oops, some more ribbon. This time it's a Happy Easter ribbon for just 50 pence and they're lovely nice different designs so they'll come in handy around about the Easter craft time. And we picked up, again, as I said, you never know what you'll find in the charity shop. So they had this bag of corks for just 50 pence and they'll make a great upcycle project. So stay tuned to the channel to see what we make with them. They also had a big basket of fabric, but we are not sewers or quilters anymore at the Crafty Seas. Our sewing machine has long gave up the ghost and our hands are not quite as fit for hand stitching anymore but they had beautiful fabrics so a pound for this fabric we couldn't resist we may use it as a junk journal cover or to make tags or something and there's a good good piece of this fabric and a very unusual design with the elephants and pandas and tigers and we picked up these four white plaster cake pillars for £1.99 and you might think this is a bit of a strange purchase wedding cake pillars but as soon as we saw these we thought of Halloween so we are going to turn these into something spooky so stay tuned for that and we also picked up a little pile of wooden holly berries that were originally from Hobbycraft and these were 50 pence next up we picked up this craft kit for a little spooky witch but on closer inspection when we've got home we've noticed it doesn't have the pattern although all the wool is there and the picture of the finished witch there isn't a pattern so if anyone out there has a pattern or knows where we can get the pattern for this witch please drop us a comment below because we'd love to make up this little spooky witch and Someone was obviously clearing out their craft supplies in this charity shop, so we had a lot to choose from. They had this lovely 3D sticker selection with the beach theme. 
and again that will come in handy for travel themed projects that we'll be making and you can let us know in the comment section below have you ever found any crafty goodies at the charity shops or whilst thrifting we know some of you have been car booting for craft goodies and some of you have the most beautiful thrift stores that we've seen in your videos and we picked up some handmade stickers these ones are golf themed perfect for more masculine cards and these ones here have the super cute hershey chocolate bar which we don't really get here in the uk but i know it is a big favorite over in america so this will be perfect for sending off in some happy mail and this little pile here was all in a cellophane packet for just one pound so it was a bit of a mystery bag and us crafters do like a mystery bag they had some oval googly eyes which i've never seen in this shape before some gems adhesive gems which are always handy in an assorted size and some papers so i think that was a good little bundle for a pound you can let us know what you think and they also had these candles for 50 pence these pillar candles i think they're unscented just your standard cream pillar candle However, we reached, recently purchased some glitter paste and haven't got round to crafting with it yet. But an idea we had was to stencil some glitter paste onto some candles. So at 50 pence, it was worth picking these up to use as a tester for that craft. So we purchased four of those. And they also had in the charity shop these paper pads light up ideas unfortunately the light up element no longer works as i think they're a little old the kits but it came with loads of papers toppers and alphabet stickers as well so it's nice to have everything you need all themed and coordinated so they had a princess themed one a baby girl one which would be perfect for scrapbooking and making up a lovely baby album and another baby themed little angel one and again they came with the alphabet stickers which we find really useful and we also picked up this lovely white top for just one pound and we thought that the cheesecloth fabric would make some absolutely fantastic ghosts and at just a pound it was a bargain And we were so lucky to find this crystal ball. And this was £5 in the charity shop. I thought that was a little expensive. However, when we went to another store, a magic mystery store, they were selling the exact same crystal ball and stand for £15. So actually it turned out to be a bargain. And this will be perfect for some spooky, mystic magical Halloween decor and you might see from the footage of the charity store another massive piece of glassware that I couldn't resist for some Halloween crafting Set a picture of that massive glass bowl here and that was eight pounds from the charity shop and we'll be using that this year for our Halloween decor so that's all our finds from the local thrift stores We'd love to hear from you in the comment section so please drop us a comment letting us know if you would have picked up any of these goodies if you had them in your thrift stores and what your favourite item was. So if you've enjoyed the video please hit that like button, consider subscribing and if you hit the bell you'll be notified the next time we make a video. So thanks for watching and until next time happy crafting!